Hello and welcome to Around the Panhandle with TV10, a Hornby Media Group production. I'm your host, Colin McLaughlin. We'll be taking a look at things to do, places to go, and people to know throughout the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. This is the Latin Tornado and we're featuring world domination, wrestling alliance, and custom creations. TV10's newest show, World Domination Wrestling Alliance, features local professional wrestling every Saturday night. Andres L.T. Suarez is not only the founder of WDWA, but he is also the owner and operator of Custom Creations, a local customized apparel shop. I sat down with L.T. to learn more about both of his companies. Oh, well, WDWA is World Domination Wrestling Alliance. It's actually a professional wrestling company that uh, both myself and my wife, we uh, founded back in 2016 after uh, Kobe Pro Wrestling shut down their doors in Berkeley Springs. Uh, so we began running shows at, uh, at Ranking Fitness Center in Berkeley Springs and uh, on August 20th, 2016, that was our first show there. And we ran uh, once a month uh, from uh, 2016 to uh, uh, July last, no, uh, when uh, COVID, uh, uh, you know, hit us last year, we watched, uh, our last show was March 14th of uh, 2020. And then uh, we, uh, I was actually in California on a business trip when I received a uh, text message from my wife uh, showing me a picture of this place. And uh, first thing she said, hey, this place is available in Martinsburg. Like we're, you know, we've been looking for a place to, for both the wrestling school, the teacher business that I was running from the house, and also to run shows as well. And uh, at the beginning, I was like, uh, ooh, that's kind of expensive. <laughs> but anyway, I pretty much we put all three together and uh, here we are today. Uh, we uh, operate a custom creation from here from uh, uh, Tuesday to Saturdays. And then every other, other Saturday we run shows here as well. And uh, our WDWA training school is on Wednesday night from 6.30 to 9.30 and uh, some Thursdays as well. If they want to get in training, uh, the best way to do is to just to contact uh, go into our Facebook page, which is WDWA Wrestling, and uh, send us a message. And uh, the first thing I want that person is to come and try out one night to see, I want to see if they can physically can do the work in the ring because this is very physical training. This is, this is just not for everybody. Uh, and once they're here, and they have a taste of what it is to train, then if they want to join, then, you know, we talk and actually we sign a contract if they want to be part of the uh, WDWA school. Some of them trying to create a different persona. Uh, some of them, I, myself and some other uh, a trainer, uh, like Robbie Page and Eric uh, Jones, we we hoping to create a persona they want to be. Uh, but most of them already come here with the mentality, okay, this is who I want to be as a wrestler. I have guys that are lawyers. I have guys that are police officers that come here and be somebody else. So what the community like about WDWA is that unlike, unlike other promotions, uh, I didn't start WDWA to push myself to the top. I started because I love professional wrestling and I like to uh, to the region to not only watch some of the local wrestlers that are here on WDWA, I'm sorry, WDWA, but also some of the regional talent uh, from uh, New York uh, all the way down to uh, Georgia that comes here and compete at WDWA. I've been watching professional wrestling since I can remember. I was born in Puerto Rico and I was raised in Puerto Rico and I remember uh, 
watching Carlos Colon and uh, all the American stars like Ric Flair, Harley Rays, Eric Embry, which happens to be one of my favorite guys. And, uh, you know, that passion kept going when I came into the States in, 90, in, sorry, in 1988. And four years later, I, it happened that I was in the Navy. I came back from deployment and I saw a advertisement on the Jacksonville, uh, Florida newspaper to see if you want to be a professional wrestler. And uh, that's where the Latin tornado uh, was born, which is myself. From time to time, I'll get in the ring if, if it's neat to it. Uh, an example of it, if, if there is a guy who's getting out of line, and uh, of course, somebody got to put him out of line at. Who better than the boss put his boot back on and uh, teach that person a lesson? <laughs> you know, WDWA, if you want to watch family-friendly entertainment with uh, no profanity, anything like that, then WDWA is for you. Uh, we're here, uh, we do shows here twice a month. Uh, all seats are $15 each. And, uh, you know, we're just a group of friendly people, you know. And uh, the first thing we do, you know, before any show is that we, we thank God because really without him, I would not be here today. Wrestling is not, would have been, you know. So I always thank God before anything when it comes to WDWA. But yeah, anybody wants to see what we got, you know, twice a month right here. If you think professional wrestling is fake, I'm here Tuesdays to Saturday from 9.30 to 6 p.m. Wednesday until 9 p.m. I'll let you come and try it. You think it's fake? Go ahead. It was a necessity to start custom creation because WDWA, I needed to buy t-shirts and one of the best screen printers was actually in PA that I, that I, that I know. But I, was say, I, I always told myself, you know, why should I be giving somebody this money if I can learn you know, to do it myself? And in 2019, I bought a, a, a little heat press from uh, eBay and uh, that's, how we, every, that's how we started. Now we have uh, our equipment here. We have a screen printer. We have a uh, four printer for uh, uh, digital printing that we do. Uh, we have two plotters and we're, we're growing. Let's say that I'm gonna uh, do a uh, t-shirt with uh, HTV, what they call is heat transfer vinyl. Uh, first thing I do is the customer, if they don't have a logo, we help them to uh, you know, create a logo uh, with their specifications. Once they approve the logo that we do in the computer uh, using uh, either Photoshop or Illustrator, then we proceed to uh, the plotter, which is right, you're standing right next to it. And depending how many colors, I have a software on, on, on either the laptop or the computer that can actually direct the plotter to, with the, the, the little knife to, to cut around the vinyl what it needs to be cut for the image. Once that's done, uh, the, the hard process begins because you have to actually weed out the excessive vinyl. And once that's done, you go into the hip press and then you press it depending, uh, it could be anywhere from uh, 10 to 30 seconds depending what kind of material you're using on the shirt or the garment. Not only we do HTV, but we also do screen printing, which is a different process. Uh, we also do sublimation, which is also a different process. So it, it, they're different process that we use. And then pretty soon we're gonna start using what they call direct to film or DTF, which is just a, a screen transfer, which is uh, just like a screen printing, except that it's done through a textile printer. Oh yeah, we do, uh, we do uh, work for a lot of businesses in, the, in this area. Uh, so it's not only WDWA, uh, when we, uh, we not, not only do t-shirts, we can do uh, personalized license plates, personalized mugs, uh, picture puzzles. If, uh, for example, right now I'm working on a, a order of a, a birthday party for, uh, for a child that is gonna be next week. Uh, 
So uh, we, we not only limit it to WDWA, but we're open to the public as well. And not only that, we don't require any minimums exception with the exception of screen printing. So if you, let's say that you want one shirt just like this, and you know, we're not gonna require a minimum, you know, one shirt is fine. So whether you want one shirt or a thousand shirt, uh, we're here to help you out. So any ideas that uh, the public have, we, we cannot help them to realize, you know, what they want to see on a shirt. So it's, 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 it's work, but you know, uh, so far and uh, everybody uh, uh, that we have done work for, they're very happy with their, you know, with their uh, shirts and or whatever they got from us. So. Custom creations in WDWA are located at 605 Winchester Avenue right here in Martinsburg. To contact LT, call 681-247-2460 or email them at wdwawrestling at gmail.com. They are open on Tuesdays through Fridays from 9.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can watch WDWA every Saturday at 9 p.m. right here on TV10 or on our YouTube page, WRNR TV.